Judy. I saw it and I absolutely loved it and it gave me a new understanding of what Judy Garland went through within her life. Now I knew she was Liza Minnelli's mom and what have you but I didn't really understand her situation with addiction, her um, disappointment with relationships and what Hollywood did to her and um it was a very good movie so do check it out it's called judy so what i want to do today is of course astrologically take a look at who the heck Ju judy garland is behind the scenes or was behind the scenes what what was she feeling what was she thinking judy garland was born july 10th 1922 in minnesota she was 17 years old actually when she starred in the film the wizard of oz her song over the rainbow literally made her legend judy died of an overdose in london on june 22nd 1969 two weeks after her 47th birthday the first guy that she ever asked out was literally mickey rooney she was head over heels in love with him, but he didn't really feel the same way about her. She was all right, you know. Um, she was just a good buddy of his to him. It was Mickey Rooney himself in later years that said after her death, her performances and her music, she wasn't acting. She was reliving a part of her life. Her husband, Mickey D., he broke down the locked door uh, to the bathroom and found her dead. He was actually, I guess, a club promoter. Uh, he was 12 years younger than her. They were married only three months before this happened, but I think they had known each other for like three years before. Um, Judy worked 18 hours a day six days a week. She was provided with pills, which is how she became an addict. Um, she was paid $500 a week uh, when she was filming The Wizard of Oz. And it seems like her life was a tragic surge to be loved. And only then was she happy she put too much faith in the disingenuous due to her addiction as well as her anxiety she wanted someone she could trust someone to have her back she wanted to believe in someone now she died six months after her london concerts which were a mixed bag if you watch the movie Sometimes she went up there drunk and wasted as F and told people about themselves. So that's what I mean by that. So some of those shows were a flop. She said, the heart is not judged by how much you love others, but by how much they love you. And it seems like she really lived that quote. She sought so deeply to be loved and it destroyed her life because she needed to love herself. In fact, her third husband literally accuses Mickey of murdering her. And, but he also didn't like Mickey. 
he didn't like the way that Mickey wasted her estate. But the fact is, due to mismanagement of Judy's money on top of embezzlement, he was actually left with a lot of debt and really not, with nothing upon her death, which would explain a lot of the ch certain choices that he did go ahead and make, um, of such as auctioning off her clothes to make money. Now, he may be the reason for the embezzlement because he did, he was in her life, like she trusted him, like, three years three years before she married him so he could have a lot to do with her estate being depleted now overall it does look like he was trash nothing really you know in the aspect you know he fed her promises and he did not give her any results she popped pills like she was eating out of a pez dispenser she was quite gullible you know a child in a woman's body wanting to trust someone wanting to trust someone wanting someone outside her to have her back but Mickey d let's talk a bit about him this man she put everything in all her chips all her eggs in one basket he was born September 24th, 1934 in New Jersey, and he died on July 11th, 2003. What I am automatically seeing between these two is um, with them, the communication was ridiculous. Um, there had to be something outside the attraction and between them it was like the strength that was there was the desire uh, for secure for career support um, and the fact is Mickey saw something in Judy Garland like a ticket to fame and you know the fact he was he was enthralled by her but I think when he met her she really did look like shit um, she looked terrible for her age. I mean, she died at 49. Um, she just looked terrible. Um, supposedly, as I said, they had been dating three years previously. Um, he was probably sleeping around on her and everything, which is embarrassing. But the compatibility between them is neither one of them were followers okay neither one of them were about following one another um <clears throat> judy felt done wrong by him so she knew he was screwing her over um he caused her emotions absolute turmoil because she loved him and he not only didn't meet her expectations but she was jumping through these hoops doing everything he wanted her to do and then when she wanted to see the dividends of her work he had absolutely nothing to show for it and so she realized that he was just like all the others a con um, or somebody you know who believes his own lies or maybe he got ahead of himself but there was a very dramatic emotional consistent conflict between these two it was consistent and it looks like he did have strong feelings for her he did care about her um, but there was never any chance of them really working out even had Judy survived um, these two would have I think despite it all I'm not sure they would have remained married, but I think they would have like been in one another's lives, but I think it would have been a very chaotic energy between them. There was just too much independence between the two of them, too much self-will, and at the end of the day, their feelings for one another really wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to keep that bond alive between the two of them. They were just too unstable, and they knew it and they were disconnected and they were upset and you know always upset with one another um, this was a regular thing 
Judy was very naive, so she actually looked up to Miki, which is very unfortunate because Judy was the one with all of the experience. But he was a very good talker, a very fast talker. And she liked the way he looked, the way he spoke. She wanted to believe him so much. She liked the way his eyes danced and you know the way he smiled and she needed somebody to believe in and he was very convenient but they disagreed upon everything at the end of the day and Mickey was very evasive. He was very insincere when she did try to be in control of things. It's almost like he pulled this thing about don't you trust me and of course she trusted him but the fact is, this was just a really warped relationship. He was a disruptive person. I don't really know if he made her life worse because she was just really dysfunctional on all on her own before she met him. Um, because, you know, everything was just jacked up in her life because of her addictions. Um, but he really undermined her and disregarded her, but she did the same to him. Um, the respect, you know, I'm not sure it was really ever there between them. Um, I mean, it's easy to get along with somebody when they're doing everything you want them to do. Um, but you know, love, when you love someone, when everything is going against the grain and you have no desire <laughs> to be together and all you're doing is tearing each other apart emotionally you know they fell into these traps of idealism and um, that's all that was between the two of them Ide idealism for one another um, they were both guilty of that Judy at the same time she was like very possessive of him and everything that symbolized attraction and beauty was very important to her. And that was when they focused on luxury, attraction, beauty, that was when they had an enjoyable union together. Um, that's when these two were the life of the party. And, and she wanted to be the belladonna of, of the ball and you know they had those moments but they encountered problems when everything was brought down to earth party over reality talk real talk they had to have that serious talk which is what they would do often so um, it's only when they were like partying and what have you that they could continue to love one another and have a good time and start fresh and they did do that extravagantly but the problem is Mickey he didn't truly truly care about Judy they liked each other they did but he was never what she needed even if he had like tried um, they were just too different and making each other you know literally unhel unha unhealthy, unhappy. I mean, they were unhealthy to begin with, with or without one another, but I do see Mickey put forth some effort, but once again, it's like, Judy Garland, she couldn't really trust anyone because she didn't have that trust in herself and what she was doing with the addiction and what the addiction was doing to her career it made her untrustable you know um, you can't really trust a junkie or the judgment of somebody drunk off their ass you know um, she wasn't really trusted anymore within Hollywood and because she didn't show up and they knew her to be the junkie and they found it embarrassing. And so they did what they did best, remove the problem, and it was her. So that's when she started acting out within the performances that she did get. She was a bitch to everyone. 
in London especially, um, getting the crowd to hate her. She wasn't really helping Mickey, um, who didn't, he didn't have any talent, much talent at all to begin with, and he was her agent. He was a fast talker, he was charming, but at the end of the day, she just wanted to be free and desired, and then their sexual chemistry, it was strong, and the physical attraction was there, and that's really what she found important, that she was desired and wanted. It a beautiful man to believe in her and to have her back and make her feel like there's no other woman in the world. She wanted it all, and that passion within her really intrigued Mickey. He looked at her, you know, with admiration, and they would both wake up and be part of the real world, and he would be the one with nothing to show for anything because he had no control over Judy. Mickey, his whole life was restructured after meeting her, and he didn't plan for that. He didn't plan to not have fun. He didn't plan for things to go wrong. It really crushed his ego. There was a, a peak of success for the two of them. There were opportunities that he would have provided for her, but again, she was an addict and it didn't really sit well with her performances. Plus, she went on stage, for the most part, looking like shit. Mickey wasn't very good at what he did. He was really used to using his looks and his personality to get his way, um, which is why he was with her. He actually had to work hard when he was with her, and he couldn't produce what he promised her. And others didn't have a problem telling him no deal. I mean, so the roles were kind of reversed on Mickey. Um, he forgave Judy time and again when she would screw up things, opportunities he, he got for her, um, <clears throat> which were very small. Um, because he liked to drink too and do the same shit that she did just as much as anybody else so he couldn't judge her for the stuff he did himself. And so unfortunately it's in another tragic tale of life on drugs with addiction. There's nothing beautiful or romantic about addiction and certainly nothing beautiful about death.